What's up? It's your boy Atlas Knight, and today um, it's not really an exploration, but this place is getting condemned. It's the uh, Crown Inn. I'm just gonna be doing a little bit of looking around. Let's see, no trespassing. Uh, whatever. Just gonna look around a little bit. There's the bridge up there. And then we have some apartments back up over here. You can't really see anything out here. I mean, most of the places are still uh, closed and people are leaving. Yeah, this place just got like condemned yesterday. And Pasigula, they are pretty known for like tearing down stuff like really, really fast. Well, not super fast, usually within like uh, less than six months. Uh, yeah, people are still moving, but, um, yeah, as you can see, it's getting condemned over here. Uh, there's an abandoned house right over there. Huh. Let's see. This property has been inspected and found to be unfit for a human habitation, declared a nuisance and violation of. Uh, I'm not going to read all this shit. Uh, I wonder what's up in there. I never noticed there was a house back up over over here, and um, I'm not gonna go up in here because I don't want to risk falling down through the roof. I mean, falling down through the floor. But yeah, they're gonna tear this place down. Now, now the apartments back here, they're not going to get torn down or nothing. These are brand, well, they're sort of new. They were made like, I think back about seven or eight years ago, but they still pretty, look pretty new. If you go inside their gated community, like, uh, they, they don't even have HD TVs here. They just have like the regular non HD TVs. They're the big box ones that. You can't watch TV on anymore.
Oh, that sounded like a little crack right there. remember the last time this place um I can't remember when this place got made I mean got created and some of the boards here do feel kind of loose and then um yeah the uh gutters they're sort of loose up here they definitely need to be replaced Actually, you know what? I'll go ahead and look up in here real quick. Let me turn on my light. Okay, that's disgusting. Yeah, but this is at the Crown Inn in Pasagula. I don't know if any of these places are unlocked. Nope, locked. Let me go up here. <sighs> Man. I think this. Wait, no, that's someone. No, no, never mind. Uh, I'm not going in there. Someone's probably owns that place. Still lives there. I don't want them to think I'm trying to steal nothing. Okay, let's explore some more stuff around here. Um, we are. We already went up there. We still get more people uh, moving up out of here. I mean, so far, I mean, this is a, a hotel land, so pretty much every room's just about the same out here. And then, like I said, these are the brand new apartments back up over here. 
that's the gated community and that's the bridge up there we're gonna look up here it'd be yeah it's gonna be a whole lot easier to explore this place right now what the hell is that noise oh never mind it's the fan uh there's another apartment complex Let's see if it's open Nope, locked. Uh, oh, yeah, I can see where they're talking about. There's some little cracks right here on the bottom. I can picture someone falling through this. Definitely not safe. This is what the gated community looks like in Pasagula. This is the new apartments up over here. And those are the workers there, I guess, working on the bridge. And there are more new apartments over here on the right, where my fingers point at. Well, if none of these apartment doors aren't, aren't unlocked, I mean, even if they are unlocked, I'm not gonna go inside because if there's some someone's personal stuff in there, I don't want them to think I'm trying to steal nothing, which I'm not, I'm just trying to make a YouTube video. And by the way, if you like this YouTube, if you like this video, subscribe and like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Atlas Snipes. There's another crack right here. It probably would be more fun to explore this place if there was actually no one here it would make it like a kind of a little bit more scarier i guess as you can see there are cracks in the floor right here i mean if you look you could literally if you were just walking around this or jumping around it you'd probably fall right through the floor pillows huh kitchen hours I didn't know they had a kitchen here I guess that was uh, for breakfast for the people who are staying here Okay, yeah, that is the kitchen place. It's a small kitchen. But, hell, it's better than nothing. Got a soda machine. And then they got a little fenced off area if you want to rest, but uh, you ain't built to stay out here no more since it's getting condemned. The power's still on. And here's another sign right here. And 
Yeah, there are a lot of cracks on this floor and stuff. I don't know why the owner didn't take care of this place. He must have just been using the money for personal pleasure. I mean, I'm guilty of doing that stuff myself too, spending money for my own personal pleasure instead of business. I've been, I have been guilty of doing that myself. But not this bad. I wouldn't be surprised in like by the I wouldn't be surprised by next week. No, by the end of this week, by um by Sunday, they'll probably have a fence barricaded up here so no one can't get up in here. But as usual, uh I wouldn't be surprised if you had some young teenagers come up here and try to vandalize the place. Oh, look, there goes another crack right there. That is pretty bad. Some people are actually living here. They actually just weren't like staying here for a couple of days for vacation and they were actually living here. Here's some more cracks right here. That is bad. Like how did this stuff even crack like this? I mean, it's, it must be cheap cement if it just cracked like that. Uh, anyway, let me get down from here. I think I'm going to go ahead and go around on the side. Let's see, no soliciting or trespassing. This is a private residential community. They're talking about this place back over here, in case you wanted to know. Uh, they even have this place blocked off already right here. Huh. Damn, she's blasting out here fast. She must be pissed off. Or either she saw me recording. But, um, yeah, other than that, though, um, pretty much else ain't nothing to explore over here. You got, like, a little homeless person over here. Well, not a homeless person. You got a barbecue grill up over here. Some homeless person was out here barbecuing. And um, there ain't nothing really special back up over here. The fence is broken down, but Pasigula will probably seal it back up. Uh, That's a whole bunch of trash. And then uh, there are more apartments up over here. Um, anyway though, there ain't nothing else much to show. This place ain't that big. But anyway though, if you thought this YouTube video was good, like and share and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Atlas Nights. And um, I will see y'all later, and y'all have a good day. Well, actually, hold on, hold on. I just want to get a good pick before I start uh, canceling stuff. Hang on. I'm not going to end the video just yet.
I want to walk up here so I can get me a good screenshot. And this is in Pasigula, Mississippi. Oh, here comes the train. Oh yeah, here it comes. Can't cross over. Y'all have a good day. Like, share, and subscribe to my video. And I will see y'all later. Peace. Hey, what's up? This is your boy Atlas Knight. And today we're heading back to the Crown Inn over here. And uh, what's his name? Pasigula, Mississippi. I came all the way from New Orleans, from where I lived at, to um, film this place. If you saw my last YouTube video, I did, uh, this place got condemned because it had a whole bunch of uh, health regulations and stuff over here on the right, the uh, Crown Inn. Huh. No trespassing, crowning guest only. Well, the rule doesn't apply no more. But yeah, we're going to go over here and we'll show you like what the place looks like. I think it got condemned uh, six months ago. Yeah, as you can see, this place is a complete mess. It looks like a whole bunch of vandal. I mean, what's the name? Uh, P. Uh, I forget what they call them, Vandal yeah, vandalizers have been up over here because you got a whole bunch of doors and stuff kicked up in here in the back. You see a whole bunch of uh, dresses and stuff like ripped out. But yeah, um, this place is a complete mess. Yeah, if you look, I'm gonna take a few pictures on the inside, but if you look on the inside over here, look at the beds, like it's, uh, what the hell, something crawling on me? Oh, never mind, I thought there was something crawling on me, but if you look at this place, it's like really, really bad. There's actually a whole bunch of canned foods and stuff up in here. I'm assuming a homeless person probably lives up in here. But anyway, I'm going to leave this stuff alone. I'm not going to mess with it. I just wanted a big YouTube video. I'm not trying to take me one stuff. I'm just doing this for a YouTube video. But yeah, it looks like you get some homeless people possibly living up in here. Because I do show signs of um, activities and stuff up over here. Oh shit, I just saw a Pasigula. Oh shit, I just saw a Pasigula cop pass up over here. Well, not up over here, but over the railroad tracks. Let me walk over here in the back because I don't want him to see me because the last thing I want to do is get arrested. Because like all these fucking cops care about is just... I don't know. Come to think about it, do the police have SUVs? Well, actually, no. I think, I think they do. Huh. But yeah, this place has uh, completely changed a lot. I'm talking about a lot. From what I was looking at on the uh, Jackson County, Jackson County Sheriff's site, inmate site, they were arresting a lot of people for uh, what's it called when you um stay inside a abandoned building where you don't live at. I think that they call them squatters. That's what they were calling them, squatters. So, like, yeah, a lot of people got in trouble for that. And trespassing. 
Now, I'm not going to explore like all the buildings and stuff over here. I'm just going to show a few because like they all look the same on the inside. They just have uh, different messed up, different like uh, little things up in there messed up. But yeah, this is the uh, Crown Inn in Pasigula, Mississippi. I filmed this place for my YouTube channel uh, six months ago, and this is what it looks like now. It looks like it's been hit by a Hurricane Katrina all over again or something. I'll go ahead and walk up here. Uh. Huh. Yeah. It does seem almost seem like it was gonna crack up over here or something. Wow. But man, it is crazy. Over here they got nice looking apartments and stuff up over here. This is like the get area. Uh this place right here is uh sold off over here. I was thinking about recording in 4K high definition, but 10 minutes would be enough, and plus my camera might overheat. Man, I thought they were supposed to renovate this place. Let me turn my light on. Uh, there goes a dead brooch right there. Uh, that's disgusting. Oh, yeah, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, Atlas Night. Please like and subscribe and share this video. Now, um, before this place got shut down, it had like a whole bunch of problems and stuff. Besides health, health regulations and stuff, this place was really, uh, this place was really bad for like selling drugs and there were there was prostitution out here and stuff it was just really just really really nasty yeah make sure i don't fall down Someone actually get up in here? Hey, if you see it, it's open. I didn't break it or nothing. It was already open like this. <laughs> because I know this used to be locked back before um, it got condemned. Huh. They still got the Coca-Cola machine up in here? Ugh. A beer bottle, of course, you know, homeless people been up in here. More dead roaches. Ugh. Ugh, man. Like, dude, I mean, this place used to be so... I don't know, it just used to be clean and stuff. Oh, there goes another jacket right here. I'm pretty sure there are homeless people up around here and stuff, but um, I don't see them nowhere right now.
Ugh. I am definitely not going in here, but it smells like someone pissed all up in here. <sighs> Man. I wonder if this place is open. Nope, surprisingly it's still sealed. I mean that don't make no sense though. Like why would why would someone break down the doors up over here, but they wouldn't break through this glass door that's easily able to be busted open? That's the part that doesn't make no sense. But man, yeah, this place had a bad uh, roach infestation. Uh, this place had a bad roach infestation too. They had a lot of well, they still do have a lot of roaches up over here. And man, oh yeah, the next place I'm gonna film. I'm gonna film that. Uh, I'm gonna film that down in Moss Point at that abandoned school, the one that get burnt down. I don't know who in the hell did that shit, but honestly, it did piss me off, cause I like exploring through that place. I mean, man, I'm like, dude, just cause. I mean, I don't know who burned out that building, but whoever did, you really deserve to get your ass kicked. Just because it's abandoned don't mean you could just burn it down and do whatever you want to do it. Damn. Look at this place. Wow, this is like the cleanest place up in here. Well, except for the bathroom. But I don't know, man. Who, if there's someone living up in here, they're taking good care of their um stuff. Ugh, except for that. Hell no. Oh, God. That is... Can we look at it again? It is... Gr God, that is gross. Let me look around and make sure there are no cops up around here. Okay, yeah, I don't want no cops. Man, well, hopefully the white guy who saw me, um, hopefully he don't call the cops. I hope he don't think I'm trying to vandalize the place or nothing. I'm just trying to make a YouTube video for my YouTube channel. That's all I want to do. I don't want to take anything. I don't want to damage anything. I'm just here to make a YouTube video. Oh yeah, there's the Pascula Bridge up here. Well, the second bridge. Man, but who, ugh. oh, this glass. I don't know who owns this place, but I'm assuming whoever owns it, they're not planning on renovating this place because if they if they let it look like this, I don't think they're planning on renovating it. They're probably just going to go ahead and just let it rot until the city decides to pay for it and tear it down. <sighs> God, man, it's fucking hot in this damn face mask. Oh yeah, sorry for all the cussing. Hopefully no kid. If, if any kids are watching this, I'll try to turn down the cussing. Well, I'll just keep my cussing off. I'm going to look back up over here.
Now, I always wanted to come back up over here to see what was over here. Actually, I didn't, I didn't, yeah, I, I never saw this part over here before. I don't know if this is a house or an apartment, but I was, wasn't curious until now, until I saw it. Oh yeah, if this uh, video abruptly ends, it's just because my camera overheated because it's summertime out here. Uh, right now it's only about, I think about 83 degrees, but it's not humid. Wow, huh. Someone broke into here. Uh, I don't, I don't know. Let me take a look. I got a flashlight. Uh, man. I don't know. This place looks like a bar or something. I'm not going to go all the way up in here. But, um, yeah, in case any police officers are watching anything, no, I did not bust open the door. It was already like that before I came up in here. Wow. They got so much junk in here and stuff. You, I'm surprised no one hasn't taken this stuff and tried to sell it. Now that I would do it, I'm just saying, you think homeless people would try to sell this stuff to the pawn shop or something, but... I guess not. Anyway, I'm not gonna go all the way up in there. I just wanna, I don't wanna go too deep in. Let them keep their uh, treasure. Okay. Recording time limits at 16 minutes and 31 seconds. I see a shoestring. Might have to be careful. It might be some slower sort of trap to try to kill you or something. Wow. There's screws up in here, tools. There's a whole bunch of stuff you could sell if, if you were homeless. They got microwaves in here. Damn. I'm not going to go all the way up in here, but damn, that's a lot of stuff. Let me make sure the police aren't out here because I don't want to get caught because I do not want to pay for no ticket. Oh, wow. I'm definitely not going up in there. Hell no. Might be snakes up in there. Or raccoons. Only way you can get me to go up in there is only if I saw a police officer like coming up from up over here. If he didn't see me, yep, I guess if I, if I had to, I would go ahead and hide up behind here. Of course, I'm going to have to take like 10 fucking baths if I do. Huh. What is this? Crown Royal. How do you have money to buy Crown Royal and you're homeless, but you have money to buy Crown Royal beer? What the fuck? I think some of these people may be pretending to be homeless or either they're just too lazy to work. But goddamn. Um, get it how you get it, I say. Okay, I'm going to end up making a part two to this video. Let me look around some more. Uh, 
Oh, damn. I definitely couldn't hop up over there. The ditch is too high. Plus, there might be alligators down there. Oh, yeah, I could run through the graveyard if I saw a cop. There's a graveyard back up over here. I see some people up over here. Let me not disturb them. Uh, here's a house I always want to search up over here. Uh, of course, I'm not going to go all the way up in there. And this is the Pascagoula Graveyard up over here. But anyway, though, this is Atlas Night. Um, go ahead and tune in to part two because I'm going to make a part two to this video. Hey, what's up? This is your boy Atlas Night. And uh, we're still over here at the Pascagoula Crown Inn. Uh, next place we're going to search is this abandoned house right here. Uh... Man, that place looks so different from back over here. Oh, God, man, it's fucking hot out here. Wait, actually, I think these, no, these are apartments. I never knew that. These are apartments. I never fucking, I mean, I'm sorry. I never knew that. It's like completely new. These are actually apartments. Let's look on the inside up over here. I'm not going to go all the way in though. Man, I'm guessing it must cost too much money to get this place fixed. And this right here is locked. So I'm not going to go up in there, of course. I'm surprised no one hasn't broken up in there. It's kind of a shock. Huh, wait, I never realized there's a graveyard back over here. I mean, not a graveyard, there's a pathway. Someone tore down the fence. And so, yep, um... Joseph Vincent. Damn, he was born a long time ago. Okay, I see some bras out here. That's a crate and grave. Very classy. Of course, I'm being sarcastic. Uh... Got some deep clean and protect. I highly doubt if anyone has any clothes to clean out here if they're homeless. They're probably just using that to get high. And uh um dang uh well, I just saw I just saw a woman up over there. I don't know what she I guess she's cleaning her clothes. Uh Well, she's over there changing clothes, so I might of course I'm not gonna go over there and film her or nothing. Um like I said, I'm just doing this for a YouTube video. I'm not trying to make no I'm not trying to make an OnlyFans. Oh shit. Uh I almost hit a rock. Oh, well, that's the first homeless person I ran into, but she was over there staying in the graveyard. But I'm, I don't know. That's actually kind of bad. If you got homeless people who are willing to sit, stay, camp out at a graveyard, but not camp out, 
at an abandoned hotel, that place must really be nasty. If they rather camp out in the graveyard. Uh, God, it's hot. Wait, hold on. Let me make sure I don't see no cops around here. Okay. Ah, oh, God, man. I want to take off this face mask, but just in case if someone's trying to film me and make up a lie to the police, I don't want them to see my face. I mean, of course, I'm not doing nothing wrong, but just for precaution purposes. Huh. Wow. This door's already opened. Huh. Nope. I'm not going to go in there. Looks too corroded at the floor, too. I don't want to fall through the roof. Uh. <sighs> Man, I should have brought me a towel, <laughs> but at least I'm getting plenty of exercise. Actually, I am kind of surprised that the Pascagoula police have not showed up over here. Maybe no one hasn't called them or either they just don't give a shit about this place. I mean, not that I want them to come up over here like no, hell no. Oh man, damn it. Stuff's tearing through. Let me make sure this is not ripped. Wow, holy shit. This place is ripped to hell. There's a whole bunch of clothes up in here and everything. I'm not going to go all the way up in here, but I'll film it a little bit of the inside of it. <sighs> I do not see how someone can stay up in here, like, honestly. I'll try to go slow while I'm filming. Oh yeah, and don't remember, you know me, in case someone tries to act crazy or attack me, we're good. <sighs> if there is anybody up in here, don't worry. I'm not going to hurt you. I'm just making a YouTube video, so you don't have nothing to worry about. I'm just doing this for a YouTube video. I'm not gonna go all the way up in here, but um, wow, there are a lot of clothes up in here. I mean, a lot. You gotta wonder, like, how many people stay up in here at nighttime. But anyway, let me go ahead and get out of here, man, because it's getting too hot and I want to catch no asbestos and get sick. Let me make sure the cops aren't out here. I don't see no cops. Okay, if there's anyone in here, I'm leaving in peace. I come in peace and I leave in peace. Have a good day.
Now, I don't know if there were really any homeless people up in there or not, but um, I don't know. I saw a lot of clothes, so I'm assuming there's at least one homeless person. If they're on drugs, they might be paranoid and think I'm a cop or something trying to kick them out of the house, but I'm not. But I can't believe these are apartments, though. It's just crazy. I'm going to film this other one up over here. They got vacuum cleaners. God, dude, I'm going to have to take a damn bath when I get up out of here. I'm going to have to take 10 baths. Oh, God. Oh, shit. I got some of these little fucking sharp plant needle things on me. I got some of these in the back of my house. <sighs> oh, it's got a microwave bottle. Man. Yes, sir, this place is a mess. Bad. I'm going to end up combining these YouTube videos into one video, but I'm also going to upload them to my channel separately in 1440p HD. But like I said, though, I'm not going to explore all the buildings. <sighs> well, um, that's pretty much all I have to show because most of the rooms are the same up around here. But um, over here, like I said in the front, that's a uh, Pascal Crown Inn Motel. It got condemned. Now it's abandoned. And this over here is a, uh, the same place as Pascal Inn Hotel. But the only thing I'm kind of curious about is why would you put extra hotel rooms like all the way back over here? Like, why not put them closer, like up over here where this pole's at, instead of so far away in the back? Oh yeah, like I said, um, this is Atlas Night, and this is part two of my video, exploring the abandoned, um, yeah, exploring the abandoned Pasigula Crown Inn Motel or Hotel. I'm gonna say motel. But um, if you haven't, make sure you like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Atlas Night. That's A T A L no A T L A S space N I G H T Atlas Night. Uh, I don't know what that is, but I'm not going to open that shit. It looks like a whole bunch of squashed up roaches or something. I'm talking about cockroaches. And no, I'm not trying to be funny. I'm being serious. Nope, that's locked up. <sighs> I'm not going to go up in there because it's too much of a mess and I do not want to get any more dirtier, dear, I mean, dirtier than I already am. Um, take one more look. Wait, did I already check back over here? Well, I mean, no, not in this back over here, but, um, anywhere else. Well, uh, man, it's not really scary. And if you're wondering too, no, it's not a scary uh, search in this place since it's abandoned. But if it was in New Orleans, yes, I would be a little bit scared. Because if you watch my other YouTube videos, the most biggest abandoned building I ever explored by myself was in New Orleans. 
It was the abandoned Bell South building in New Orleans, or I think no, Slidell, Louisiana. That place was big. The building was seven stories tall and had over a, it has over a hundred rooms from what I read on the maps on Google. So yeah, the place was huge. I explored the whole thing. Cause I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I didn't want to go up in there by myself. Huh, there's more stuff up in here, but I'm not gonna go up in here. Huh. Pretty much the same thing. There's a lot, of, there's, I mean, uh, there's a lot of beer bottles and stuff up in here. Wow. Someone was really mad. They punched a hole through that wall. <laughs> Reminds me of Mr. X from Resident Evil 2 Remake and the original Resident Evil 2. But man. I mean, if you look, all the rooms are just pretty much still the same up over here. It looked like someone trying to burn this bed because I see like little fire marks on it, well match marks. Ugh, okay, that's gross. <sighs> Well, let me go ahead and go about it. Let me let me go ahead and get up out of here before someone calls the police on me and gets the wrong idea. It'll probably I, I went ahead and decided to explore this uh, building anyway, though, because probably like in the next um probably like in the next four to six months, they're probably gonna go ahead and tear this building down. So I just wanted to go ahead and explore it before it got torn down and put it on my YouTube channel. But yeah, I'm guessing it probably costs like half a million dollars to like renovate these, um, to renovate this Crown Inn Motel. But yeah, I'm not gonna explore this place at no nighttime. I do not never explore abandoned buildings at nighttime. Never. Only during the day. I still want to explore that abandoned Navy base facility though up in New Orleans. That building is like, I think 20 stories tall, but I've always wanted to explore that place, but I gotta find someone to come with me though, because this place is like double the size of the abandoned Bell South building in um, Slidell, Louisiana. And there it is right there at the Crown Inn sign. Uh, there's nothing back over here besides um, the brand new apartments over here and then the brand new apartments on the right. Other, and you can't drive through here. Uh, man. Well, I'm through exploring this place. But like I said, though, um, thank you. If you watch this video, thank you for watching. And make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, Atlas Nights. And like, share, yeah, like this video and share this video. I'm going to go ahead and take some pictures. Well, I'm going to go ahead and take one picture from my thumbnail for my YouTube channel. Uh. Okay. Well, this is Atlas Night. Oh, let me get from underneath this thing. I don't want this thing to crush me. Okay. 
like I was saying, this is Atlas Knight. I will see y'all later, and y'all have a good day. Stay safe and peace.